By the way, I'm, I'm always concerned about the, I'm disturbed by the use of the word GMO, because it's very confusing. Everything is genetic. We're, we're all GMOs, genetically modified organism. What does that mean? Um, what should be used is transgenic would be a much better word. Because what we're talking about is not um, a hybrid of, uh, of Will with his wife or something like that. We're talking about um, Will getting on with an orangutan. <laughs> or, or much extreme than that, or, or, or a strawberry being pollinated, or not pollinated, by injected with genes from a flounder. Or corn being injected with genes from a firefly, or a virus, or a Brazil nut creating a, a toxic acorn. And that's what that thing, the, the um, Starlink controversy over of a, uh, this new corn variety, GMO corn, that was, they caught it before it was released, but it was, uh, I think it was uh, Taco Bell had the, some of this corn in their products. And they managed to recall it because it had Brazil nut genes um, in its genes, in its makeup. And uh, there are some people who are very, very sensitive, a lethal uh, uh, allergy to Brazil nuts. Well, don't worry about that, honey. These are from corn chips. So we have them <laughs> labeled. And so if, if it had not been caught in time, the people could have died as a result of eating corn. So, yeah, it's a very, very extremely pervy technology that we're mixing things that would never, ever, ever mix in, in nature. And, uh, but anyway, when we're all excited about that. We hate Monsanto because they do GMOs and we're all against it and they're not organic and all that kind of stuff. All that's great. But one of the things we tend to ignore, and I want to bring this point home, this GMO thing is not some, not really a new thing in the sense that it is mainly the latest development in a process which has been happening for centuries now. And basically that is abdicating responsibility for our own very basic need, food. At one point, we stopped all being farmers. We had specialists who lived and became priests and craftsmen and you know, lived in the towns and were lawyers or whatever. And then we got to a point where even the farmers um, didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't save their seeds. I mean, that was many centuries later. Um, and the point we started using uh, botan seeds and then hybrid seeds. And GMO is just the latest cusp of that. Mm. Is, you know, the point I always like to make is that you can, particularly in modern society, in our market, place-based society, you can hire someone, you can buy just about anything, you can hire someone to do just about anything. You can hire someone to mow your lawn, you can hire someone to cut your hair, you can, of course, you can hire someone to make love to your spouse, and they'll probably do a hell of a lot better job than you will. Um, but no, there's some things that we say, no, this is too important. I have to do it myself. Um, I, it, it doesn't matter whether I'm the best person, I, I, some things are just too important. And I would select that I would suggest, I would submit, that saving your own seeds is right up there with making love to your spouse. It's so important that you, you should take more. This is, this is too important a thing to a farm out, to, con to subcontract. It's our, too much in our lives hangs in it. And so saving your own seeds, it's, it's a, I just want to make a very compelling argument in doing it. Uh, an argument that I always make, or a point I always make with my uh, workers in scatter seed project, I always start, when they first start off work, I say, in the course of working for me, if you work here for one season or several, in the course of working for me, you're almost inevitably going to do something you're going to screw up. You're probably going to screw up something pretty big. You're probably going to cause some variety, me to lose some variety. It's possible you may cause some variety to go extinct. I, oh, I put the fear of being, you know, and, geez, wow, I, I, you know, always be watching over your shoulder. Be a little jittery, you know, to do everything right. That's the bad side. That's the bad side. But on the other hand, there's something you could do worse than doing this and screwing up, and that is not doing it at all. We would lose it all. So on the one hand, yeah, uh, you, you probably will do something very wrong. But however much, however much you do, it's not going to be enough. There's no such thing as that. However much you do, not, you do will not be enough. However little you do is vital, and you must do it.